Hello, friends. Happy Friday. It's so wonderful to be here with you to end the week. Thank you so much for joining us live today. Greg and I are back, and we have a really special, fun show. As you know, this is one of our favorite shows, which is what to watch, what to stream. Greg, are you ready? Click below. I am ready. I am ready. I've got to, I think I've got a couple of good ones um, to talk about, but you know, part of the fun of doing this type of show too is hearing what other people suggest so when we're talking about you know what to watch we love to see what other people uh what other people are sharing what you're watching also hi everyone i'm greg nibbler in case you didn't know a longtime tech reporter and now a reporter for fox 12 oregon and i have a show there called fox 12 now so covering a lot of different things but uh it's always great to be here with you all you know whatever platform you're watching on and hearing your comments as we go through the show and of course being here with winnie it's it's a great way to to wrap up the week on a friday but with the what to watch uh show that we're doing today there um it really is you know it can be all over the board there's so many shows out there so many movies we want to uh hear what you have what your suggestions are so and i i get to hear winnie's too because i don't know what they are until we do the show I know we like to surprise each other and I'm, that's what makes it really fun. And we love to get your comments like Greg said. So welcome to In The Loop with Winnie and Greg. As Greg mentioned, um, I am Winnie Sun, longtime financial pro, CNBC council member and Forbes contributor. And I'm also a host of Level Up, which can be found on NASDAQ and some other streaming platforms as well. It is so nice to be back with Greg. Let's start off, give you a really quick market update. And then we're gonna hand it right over to Greg and we're gonna jump in on today's topic. By the way, we are streaming in live. Don't be shy. Jump in. Say hello. We're already seeing a lot of friends come in live. So it's great to see all of you on all the different platforms. And, and so that's really, really fun. All right. So the market hasn't closed yet, but here is where we're at. The Dow is currently down 65 points. NASDAQ, though, is currently around 184 points in the positive. And the S&P 500 is up 21 as well in the positive. Now, what's kind of fun is the S&P 500, friends, is about, has hit the historical uh, big 5,000 mark. So this is kind of fun. We're watching a continuing uh, positive across the board, not, well, not on the Dow, but everything else. In fact, this was sort of, there were some reports coming out of CNBC of how analysts are really just feeling very good about sort of that philosophical level, right? Sort of, it's more symbolic than anything when the S&P crosses over that 5,000 mark, people are just feeling a lot more happy, a lot more optimistic and more confident in the financial markets. Now, of course, Greg's on the show. So, you know, this is probably partly because of Greg, of course, but uh, tech, of course, is leading the charge here as well as cloud sectors, and this is helping. Uh, the earnings have been coming out of the S&P 500. In fact, over 300 some companies have reported, and the numbers have been coming. Uh, uh, earnings have been pretty robust and positive across the board. So it's good. We're looking forward to it. One thing that I thought I wanted to mention, if you didn't know already, too, is they actually revised the consumer price index figures for December, which actually, after they revised it, showed a smaller increase than initially reported, and that actually helped with the optimism as well. But that's enough of financial talk, because we got to hand it right over to Greg, because we have what to watch this episode. Did Greg yes, free yeah, Hannah? Yeah, you know, a little bit of positivity. Greg, was it, you put us in suspense uh -oh. am I, am for a I minute? Am I blanking out? <laughs> Uh-oh. <laughs> Maybe I am. Maybe the internet uh, the internet lords are not uh, favorable to me right now. Am I, am I coming through all right now? Yep, we can see you okay. now. All right, who knows? Um, yes, let's talk about what to stream. So I've got a few different things. And, you know, if you know me, of course, I'm going to go into some sci-fi here in a little bit. But I thought about, you know, what's something like this time of year, a lot of people kind of get a little bit down. I mean, I know here in the Northwest, we've had 
uh, the, the rain and clouds for several months now. So it can get a little depressing. So I want to find something that's a little bit more uplifting. And that's why I chose season eight of Queer Eye as my selection for what, for what to stream. Now, for people who have never seen the show, um, it's these five guys. They go out and, uh, and people you know all over the country will submit a, maybe a friend or a family member, somebody that they think needs just a life change. Maybe they've had a rough go of it. Maybe some kind of tragedy has happened and for years or whatever, they're just like kind of down in the dumps or just that's what other people are seeing. And so they go out there and, and they go through, you know, several different things of, you know, there's the makeover side, there's the haircut, they're all that, but there, there's also just like talking to people about what's going on in their lives and how they can feel better about themselves. And it's, you know, I, I started watching this and it's, really uplifting because it's, it's like a positive show, you know, and, and, uh, it's, it's just, it's a, it's a really, really good show. It's a, it's a great way to look at it and just seeing people who are not having a great time. Like all of a sudden they're just feeling good again. And, uh, and so that's why, you know, I just wanted to find something that's like positive, positive mm -hmm. to watch that, that you can check out. And there's uh and it's pretty entertaining too. Some of it's pretty funny, especially that dude there who this guy who was like a super fan of kiss like everything he owned was kiss um that was kind of funny but uh but yeah that's i that's this is the show i picked if you've never seen it before i suggest giving giving it a watch i love that thank you so much greg for sharing this this is such it's it, if you haven't seen it i agree with you i haven't seen season three yet so i'm definitely gonna jump on this but i love that they i, I feel like um, this cast is so strong because you have yeah, all yeah. these different dimensions, right? Like there's one cast member who's so strong in interior design, one that's so good with fashion, one that's great with beauty, and then one, but then they all just have such um, such empathy and they're so like kind uh, yeah. to whoever they're helping out. Like I feel like us as the audience, we actually learn from watching these shows. So um, kudos, Greg. I love that. I didn't know that it came back for season three. So congratulations on season three. We'll definitely, um, I'll definitely tune in um, on that as well. Nice. All Amazing. Right, I want to hear what you have. Okay. Well, I've got one and this is also season three. I have Abbott Elementary. So Abbott Elementary is on season three. And on, this is the, the third season of the American TV comedy that was created by Quentin Brunson, which uh, is set to premiere on ABC though. Um, and so that started on February 7th. So actually this week it, it's, it's already available. So you can already watch this now, but this is pretty cool. This is like a whole team of like, really excited, really great educators, um, you know, in Philly in a public school and talking about sort of that challenging environment and how they, you know, succeed in life, you know, how students kind of get together. It's good. It's a really good, feel good show that the entire family can get around. And I just feel like, you know, it's like, uh, you know, it's like new, I like new, exciting like kind of something for the adults, something for the kids. And it talks about those right. relationships. It's pretty cool. Right. Something that's got two different levels of jokes. You know, I've heard this is really good. I have not watched it yet. So I think it's interesting hearing, you know, see, seeing this on here and learning a little bit more about it. It's It's been one I've been meaning to get to. I was even looking today before we started. I was like, oh, yeah, I keep hearing about Abbott Elementary, but I haven't actually watched it. So I didn't know what to recommend on it. But uh, I will I will definitely give this one a shot. Yeah, yeah, I think it's a great thing. one. Yeah, and it's on ABC, so I think it's going to be accessible to a lot more people to be able to watch it. I think, yeah, it, uh, I think it'll kind of give you something to remind you of, like, the days in school and kind of, yeah, I don't know. Should be fun. Nice. Nice. Okay, well, awesome. That's a great one. And again, you know, for everybody watching, drop in your comments, your suggestions, too. Love to see those. All right, my next one, I did switch to some sci-fi. I debated on putting this one out, but I'm kind of excited about this show. Although I don't know, it's either going to be really great or it could go the other way, but I'm definitely going to give it a shot. And it's a new show that's coming out on Apple TV plus later this month. It's called Constellation. And Ooh. it has to do with this woman. She's an astronaut this is sometime in the future. And she goes into space. There's an incident and like an accident that happens and she gets back to earth. And this is no spoiler because this is what's in the trailer when yeah. they, they rescue her and she gets back to earth. But everything about her life is just a little like off. It's different. Oh. Like it's it's her life, but her kid acts differently. Um, 
like her kid used to play piano and now doesn't play piano or vice versa. And it's just like all these, all these things just start adding up where the, and then she has to determine whether or not she's going crazy or whether there's something else that's going on. And I'm, I'm interested in both for the space side and for like the mystery side of clearly there's something bigger happening. And, uh, and they kind of allude to that in the trailer that there's that people see something when they're in space and, Sometimes it comes back with them or whatever that means. So I'm I'm looking forward to it just to see how this all plays out. They've Apple TV's had some pretty good mysterious kinds of shows like this. And so is Amazon Prime actually on the sci-fi realm. So I'm I want to try this out. I, I'm looking forward to, to giving this a shot. Well, I see Joshua on Crosstex Fighter joining us on YouTube Live, and I see Wendy Barker joining us on YouTube Live as well. And for those of us who knew, know you, Greg, I feel like we totally, if we saw the trailer of this, we'd be like, oh, Greg's all over this. So yeah. this, <laughs> you can see why you dig this show. And actually, I mean, the graphics are great, and I love a good space show, you know? And that yeah. is weird. Like, for, I think that's going to be – I'm curious to see what it's rated because if it is kid-friendly, I can totally see – um, me watching this with the family because I think my kids would get a kick out of it. We've had uh, some similar shows like that, I would say. There was one on Netflix. I can't remember the name of. But, yeah, they suck you in. They really – they're quite exciting. All right. Yes. So I'm not sure what the rating is. I was trying to find it, but uh, – so I'm not sure. Well, if someone watching, if you find it, let us know. Drop in comments. That would be great so we can know. Here's the next one I've got. And I think this is one that I know my family were really excited about. This premieres on February 22nd. And this is going to be on Netflix. And this is the Avatar, The Last Airbender. And so this is live action adaptation of Nickelodeon's animated series. Follows on the young avatar and so of course on is on this quest um learning to master these i guess there's these four elements like there's fire and there's earth and air and water and like the the goal is to restore balance in this planet or world that is being threatened by the fire nation does this not look cool i mean just the special effects and the, the, yeah. how beautiful this looks. I feel like it It just totally sucks me in. The immersive world uh, filled with these like heroes and adversaries and, of course, mentors and characters I think we're going to really, really love. I can't wait. This is like coming around, I think it's like in a week. Uh, I'll tell, Yeah, I'll double check when it's coming out, but I know it's soon. Like I, I am also I'm looking forward to this because I'm, I'm watching my monitor right now because, yeah, the shot, it looks really cool. Just how, cool, it's, right? how it's shot. I mean, it's that alone uh, would bring me in. I'll, Look yeah, at that. Um, <laughs> just the special effects. And I know, you know, how beloved this series is and the the original and then the different reboots that they've had and all the animation. So bringing it to actual, um, you know, real life, I think that's going to bring a lot of people in. I'm sure people will have their opinions about whether they do it accurate or not. But for me, who's coming in with with pretty little knowledge. I mean, a, a general knowledge of what it was before. I'm excited for this. Like, I, I'm definitely going to be checking this out. Well, it just I looks think, cool. It looks cool, right? I mean, and I think it's cool. Regardless of the story, it looks cool. It looks so cool. Cross-Sex Fighter's actually seen the series on Nickelodeon. So Cross-Sex Fighter, definitely jump in and let us know. Like, you know, it looks like Cross-Sex Fighter's excited about this. But isn't it, like, I feel like even if you don't have background in the show, I feel like, how cool would that be just to watch it for the first time? And then this, yeah. you know, yeah, yeah that, I, I mean, I'm that's going to be pretty much me. So I'm, I'm really excited for this one. That's uh, yeah. And I love it. I really love it. And, and I love how there's more inclusivity too. You're getting like, kind of like your first pick, Greg, where there are different types of actors and actresses of different walks mm -hmm. of life. I love the inclusivity too of this. Yeah. Yeah. A lot of, a lot of variety of, of, things and genres and everything going on um yeah okay i do have my my i've got my third one uh this one is it's technically march 1st is when it comes out so i i cheated just a little bit on uh on for february but it's dune part two something yes new. yeah i mean been waiting for years uh, for this to come out, I think COVID delayed it and, you know, everything got delayed there for a long time and then a writer's strike and all that stuff. But now it's finally coming out. So these, if you have not seen Doom Part 1, definitely watch that first. This isn't something you could just jump into and be like, ah, you know, I'll just watch a five minute synopsis. You want to watch the first one. 
uh, before you do this. But Which this is, on is Netflix, by the way. huge. Like bringing this to life. I mean, bringing Dune to life has had mixed results anyway throughout the mm -hmm. couple of times that it's been attempted. I think this first this version is really, really amazing of what they've been able to do, both both with the story and and like kind of even though the first one I think is three hours long, Doom Part One, and this one probably is too. The book is real long. So even condensing that and able to being able to get it onto the screen, they've done a great job. But visually also and the special effects and what comes in the second part, that's what I'm I'm really looking forward to. There's uh there's gonna be some some big scenes. I want to see how they do the special effects. You get a little bit of it in some of the uh, some of the trailer here, uh, but it's. I mean, I'm going to go see this in the theater. Probably, I will. I will see it the weekend it comes out in the theater. Wow! And I, I haven't gone to a weekend premiere of a movie in a very long time, but this one I'll do that. Yeah, can you imagine it's the sound and you know everything on the big screen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's definitely one of those. I mean, you can watch it at home and I'll, I'll watch the first part again at home. But this is one of those movies where you do really you don't really get it until you get the huge the sound, the giant screen. Maybe it's like in an, an, an IMAX type theater or something like that, that. That's even taking it to the next level. But yeah, you want to see it on, on a big screen. That's yeah. my recommendation for it anyway. I love it. I mean, it's it's probably eventually going to come to streaming, but how fun yeah. would it be to see this on a big screen? And speaking of March, I mean, like, I, it's not one of my choices, but, you know, um, Taylor Swift's eras, um, I guess, is coming to Disney Plus in March, too. I read that. Oh. So, but we'll go. I maybe wasn't aware that, of that. <laughs> maybe I'll save that for later. But anyhow, my last choice, Greg, is one that, well, you know, it's February, and, like, next week is Valentine's Day. For those of you who, who forgot – um, so this choice is sort of in that reign a little bit. And a special thanks to Curtis on my team for helping me uh, find this one because it didn't actually hit my radar. And this is called Past Lives, okay? Past Lives, Past Lives. And, and this is going to be on Paramount Plus, and it's available as of now. So this is sort of about these two characters, Nora and Hei Sung. They are actually friends from when they were little, but they had this deep connection. And so they were sort of separated um, when Nora's family came Um you know, emigrated from the United States, come into the United States here, and then uh, from South Korea, I should say, and they were reunited in New York after two decades. So it's talking about sort of the notion of love and destiny, and it's like, it's like, like sort of that like modern day love story, if you will. It's been directed and written by Celine Song. So, yeah. It's, yeah. I think it's going to be a cute, cute, feel good movie. I mean, I think a lot of these um, Korean dramas are really, really well done. And this one, yeah, this one I'm kind of excited to see. Yeah. I mean, Korean, Korean everything when it comes to streaming service, I mean, they're having a huge moment right now. There's so many different mm -hmm. series coming out from, from there. But this one, um, okay, A24, so that production studio, I, I like pretty much everything so they do. Good. And yeah. so if, you, if you're not familiar with A24, definitely take a, take a look at all that. Um, okay, I'm seeing some comments here. It's good, but it'll make you cry. Okay, well, that's good to know going going into it. Uh, I also that um, I don't know her name, but that actress that's in this, the co-star, she's in several different shows that I watch, and she's a really great actress. Because, and I'll tell you why I know because I cannot stand her in one of the shows that I watch. <laughs> her character, it's she is so annoying, and that's because she's so good at playing this annoying character. Um, uh, so it's, it's a compliment. Um, you're so annoying. <laughs> I like you a lot. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's like, you are really good because I can't so good stand. at being annoying. <laughs> like you are so annoying. Uh, <laughs> but uh, that's, that's cause she's really great at it. And so, yeah, I, I'm looking forward to that. I, I will watch that. Although now that I have the warning, I just need to be prepared. I haven't seen it yet, but Curtis is telling me about that. It's so good. But he's like, you know, you got to have a box of tissues nearby. So, you know, it'll be, it'll be like, but you know, it's Valentine's. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I will. I will check that out for sure. I guess an interesting move from May 24 too, just to see what they do with that. We got so much to tune in and such a variety yeah. of shows. Thank you so much, Greg. I love your choices. In fact, that the, I mean, those are some really good ones. You're giving us something to stream, something to go see at the movie theater. Yep. Great, great, great show. Love it.
I love it too. I think I've had my own special effects going. If somebody's been seeing my camera pop in and out, I, I think I plugged <laughs> in the plan. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, so just, you know, give them my own effects. Uh, but yeah, thank you everybody for, for joining too. We, we always, you know, appreciate all of you joining in and, and tuning and streaming and sharing the show and commenting along because it really is, uh, it's awesome for both of us to just be here and, and have you join in with us and get to share some of these different things with you, lots of things to stream. And like we always say, there it was again, uh, like we always say, uh, please feel free to reach out anytime on any platform that we're on, you know, let us know whether you're, whether it's something, you know, you're, you're streaming or whatever, and you think it's something that we should recommend or you want to recommend to us, or if you see a cool tech story and you want to share it with me, just any anytime. It's always great. It's always great. And yeah, huge, huge thank you. Also, shout out to Joshua for thanking so much for your support and sharing the show. And for those of you who don't know, happy Lunar New Year as year as well. This oh. is the year of the snakes. So for those of you who are maybe born in those years, this is your year. We hope it's a great one. Um, but yeah, first I just want to make sure I was the first one to wish you um a happy new year and gong xi fa cai is how we say it in Chinese. Nice. Awesome. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. Take care. All right. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.